All right then, I got two Rough Rider knives that arrived this morning in the mail. Uh, the first one is a 157, uh, a four blade Congress knife, about a medium size. It's a, um, a fairly small format. I, I wanted a knife that would be good for whittling, basically, with a variety of different blades, and uh, for that it does not disappoint. It has uh, two um, sheep's foot blades, um, basically identical blades, um, and uh, two smaller blades. I think, I believe the, the longer blades are one and seven eighths about. And the two smaller blades, one is a coping blade and the other is a pen blade, which are very good. Uh, in fact, the coping blade is um, basically with the factory edge on it, it's good to go. You can actually carve with that. The other ones are sharp. Uh, as you can, uh, I can attest to, since uh, I tend to wipe blades when I finish before I close them, and I s put a nice little slice because these blades are fairly narrow, so your tip, your fingertips are near the edge if you if you have that habit to to wipe a blade. Um, because it is a small format knife, um, the blades are narrow, the, the, which is not a problem for the smaller ones. For the main blades. Uh, I would prefer, I would have preferred if this was a, had a, you know, slightly bigger, uh, wider, um, uh, you know, format to it so that the blades could have a little bit more um, depth uh, to them. Uh, as it is, they are narrow and they thin them out since they're four blades fitting into a fairly narrow uh, case. Um, the, um, the blades are narrowed here and you can see that um, ever so slightly. So that on the longer blades, there is a little bit of, uh, of uh, you know, uh, play to, not play to them, it's a very solidly put together, but they bend a little bit, which uh, for me is fairly uncomfortable. So what I think I'll do with this is, uh, since I have two identical blades um, uh, here, uh, on one of the blades, probably this one because the nail neck is shorter, what I plan to do is to... Um, take down quite a bit of steel there and bring that down to more of a, um, a worn cliff shape with a, with a more pronounced point for, for, for detail work, finer detail work. And with the blade being shorter, it'll, it'll have less um, wobble to it, less uh, uh, flex in the blade itself. And um, overall, uh, I really have nothing really bad to say about these knives. Um, they're made in China. And you know, I'm, I'm actually old enough to remember when made in Japan or made in Korea was considered, you know, uh, a uh, you know shoddy uh, manufacturing. Uh, but uh, you know, now uh, basically everything that I have in the house is made by uh, Samsung or Sony or Apple, which are all the products are made in China. So I think it's time to uh, uh, to consider that uh, Chinese manufacture is not necessarily a bad thing. All politics aside. And this uh, knife, for me, is a case in point. Uh, the only, uh, I would say, small detail that's not quite right is on this edge. The brass liner is about one sixty-fourth of an inch above the, t the the back springs, and we know I'll just take a fine uh, file to that and, and bring that down. I mean, that's it. Everything else is the, the, the fit and finish, the quality, uh, the 440A um, stainless steel blades um, are actually, um, you know, when I, I tried cutting with them, um, you know, they have a factory edge on it, so they're not, they're sharp, but they're not, you know, sharp enough for carving except for the, um, where is it, the coping blade. Here it is. This one actually they, they put a, a better edge on that in the factory this one actually cuts very very nicely and um, they seem to be well tempered I think that they'll keep an edge fairly well uh, for me the next step now is to um, I'll uh, put these on the on the whetstones uh, and I will grind down one of those blades and then I'll strap them to a uh, uh, to a razor sharp edge for um, for cutting but as it is even out of the box um, I mean, their you know, cutting paper is a ridiculously useless uh, you know, example of what a blade can do. But uh, I mean, they're not dull. You know, coming out of coming out of the box, they're um, even the um, yeah, they're not dull. Even the uh, the main blades, which are not as 
as, as well. They didn't put as good an edge on it as the um, smaller blades. Um, anyway, for uh, carving, they need to be uh, they need to be sharpened. So that's the next step. And along with that blade, with this uh, pocket knife, is oh, I just wanted to say about the uh, the handle. It's supposed to be um, a brown. It's billed as a brown um, uh, jigged bone, stag bone, whatever they call it. Um, it's really nicely finished. I mean, the the, the fit is is perfect, perfectly smooth. But I mean, it's uh, pretty. It's more tan than than brown to my eye, and it even you know veers off into sort of like a a pinkish pinkish color where it's been fitted to the to the um, to the bolsters, which isn't the you know the my, it's not my favorite color combination, but it's not, you know, bad. There's nothing really, you know, horrible about it. And um, also, yeah, the, um, the bolsters are um, uh, nickel silver, uh, very nicely polished, uh, brass uh, pins on the on the um, on the scales, and so um, basically, good good uh, knife. I think that that'll be a good uh, whittling knife, pocket knife to carry. And this one I got just for the fun of it because it just looks so cute. <laughs> this is the uh, the mini canoe, and it's a red bone handle. And this this uh, handle actually is really nice. It's a nice red. Um, it probably comes out a little bit too bright on the video, but it's a uh, it's a deep like a um, you know like a, a deep cherry red or a uh, you know ruby ruby red. Um, very nice. Uh, also, uh, the um, nickel um, bolsters, 448 stainless steels in all of them. The only downside on this so far that I found is that the nail neck for the main blade is comes right up on the top of the sheep foot blade. This is a three blade knife, by the way. If you can focus on that, the um, you have two springs since it's three blades. They're fitting two 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 blades on this end so they um, the springs are at an angle and there's a a v-shaped uh, wedge cut of the um, uh, the brass liner in between the two springs which is really well done for a small knife like this it might be a little bit yeah you can see a little bit of, uh, of the daylight through at the very point but otherwise it's beautifully smooth very nicely done and this blade the main blade I, I picked this knife out because well it's sort of like a toy it's it's you know a cute little thing you put this in your watch pocket and never even know you're carrying it in fact i figure it's probably going to end up in the washing machine a couple of times because of that but i like this blade it is um everything that i wished that this the main blade on this thing would be which was a little stubby thicker uh you know wider and thicker and this blade has no flex to it whatsoever which is really nice for um for carving wood and um, you can uh, because it's a thicker blade I'll be able to uh, you know put a longer thinner bevel on that and I think this one will sharpen it really nicely now the small blade they didn't sharpen this um, at the factory that to the same level as the other one it's still sharp I mean, it'll, uh, it'll still cut paper if that's what you want a knife for uh, and you don't want to sharpen it but it's not nearly sharp enough to um, to cut wood with but I thought it'd be a nice little knife to have yeah, this needs really to be sharpened because um, it's so inconspicuous and it looks good. I mean, it looks like a toy, but it actually has a certain heft to it, uh, a build quality that's nice. I love the color of the handles. And it comes with two smaller blades also, uh, as with the other one, uh, a, a sheep's foot blade, which is very short, probably about an inch. I didn't measure it, but I would guess it's about an inch. And, um, and a pen, pen blade, which is the same length. Uh, short little stubby blades and if this if these blades could have been put into a slightly longer handle this would be uh, I think almost a, uh, I could make that into the most perfect um, uh, folding uh, uh, whittling knife because I really like the um, the thickness and the shape of the uh, the blades I really could make something nice of this the only downside of, of having a, such a small handle is that um, while you can do, for example, show you on the main blade, if I can get it open, there you go. Um, for push cuts, it's actually nice because this, um, the space between um, 
the, the end of the bolster and the start of the uh, sheep's foot blade, it's nicely rounded in there and it fits your um, index finger just perfectly. It fits like a trigger grip. So having a small handle is not so bad because with your thumb on one side and your, and your uh, index finger nicely, um, uh, you know, nicely anchored in that, you can actually, you know, push with your other thumb, you can get a, a you know, a fairly, you know, decent bit of force here. And this is, this knife is not sharp, sharp enough, so I really have to put a bit of force on it to, to carve. But I can see doing that. On the other hand, on a paring cut, it feels, I would say, at best awkward because you can get, you know, two, maybe three fingers, you know, but it's so small, so tiny, uh, it really doesn't feel like, you know, that that would be the kind of uh, cut I would feel, you know, very comfortable making, you know. It's, it's, tire, it's tiring and I also feel it pivoting in my hand. So, you know, for uh, just a, a, a little, you know, knife to have around and maybe use some of the, you know, use this for some of the smaller detail work where I'm, you know, pushing with my thumb and I'm just, you know, just want to get some little detail in there. That's good enough, but I just like it. Okay, so next step, um, I'm going to sharpen, I'm going to first reshape one of these blades and um, give it more of a Warncliffe uh, edge. That'll take a while with the uh, fat bastard, uh, flat bastard, excuse me. And um, then sharpen uh, all, of, all seven blades of these two knives um, and hone them to a razor edge, and then we'll come back and see how that uh, the, how they cut and how they perform once they're uh, ready to go. Okay, so see you soon. It's the little basswood uh, sculpture. That's what was down in the bottom there on the left. 